Hello everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie. Today's video, this week's video, I wanted to chat a little bit about what I've changed for spelling for my 11 year old. She is in grade five. She did take grade two in the brick and mortar school two years, for two years, because she struggled with something um, needing eye therapy. And I'm going to leave a link down below, like I always do every time I mention that, because there's links in that video if you find your child struggling with learning how to read, doing math, um, just having tummy aches and headaches from just struggling in those areas of school, math, reading that sort of thing anyway she did a year of eye therapy and she has essentially been cured but a lot of the things that she struggled with in grade one and grade two meant that she isn't a huge fan of reading and she has gaps in her knowledge of spelling like the tr sound or the dr sound um she just yeah, it's, it's not even in her brain. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it was just for her. This was a struggle that she had. And now at, when she's in grade five, I'm trying to pull those things and those desires out of her. But at the same time, as many of you know, you probably have a family member or you yourself struggled in school. When you struggle, you kind of get to a point where you feel dumb or stupid and and then your will and your desire to learn something new um, goes down because you're like, what's the point? And so that's the, the push and pull that I have with my Sienna all the time. Um, here's a book to read and she'll go running the opposite direction. <laughs> uh, or let's sit down and do spelling. Her spelling isn't that great and we have been working on it for a while and there is improvement but it's very very slow because I've struggled with the idea of pulling her way way back uh, and it just for her it's frustrating because a lot of that is very juvenile um, and she's 11 she's like oh, that's not gonna work for me so what I had been doing with her in the past and I will leave a link down below to the spelling you see video I was do I've been doing Matthew C with my kids for since the very beginning but I thought I saw Matthew or spelling you see and thought hmm I wonder if this might be helpful to her now she was pretty okay with doing the nursery rhymes which I felt very thankful for but we didn't get through it very far because I just found it was so time consuming and it was something I had to do with was one-on-one -on -one with just her and it just took way too long and I didn't see Early on, I saw the benefits um, right away, but as time went on, she just seemed to check out more, not really pay attention to it. And so I decided that I needed to take a little bit of a different approach. Now, I spoke about how I discovered this curriculum from Megan from Pennies and Salt. One of the reasons why I love this YouTube community of homeschoolers is because you find out about things that you didn't know before. What she was talking about was spelling power. This is a book that's all you need, just this book. <laughs> um, I did discover that they had special pages and special books and a whole bunch of different things. Um, half of this book is just teaching the ideas behind it. And the more YouTube videos that I watched about this are like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> It was very overwhelming when I first bought it because they were like, sit down and read the preface and the program overview. It usually takes about, a, an average reader, it takes about two hours and I'm like, it's a spelling program. What is going on? So needless to say, I have not actually done that, but I am finding it working out well for us in our homeschool because all you need is 15 minutes a day. So while I am making my son's breakfast, I have Sienna come and she writes in one of these little tiny books that I got from the dollar store. 
it's a silly, can we see it? Oh, there you go. It's a silly little llama book. And I have tons of these that I got. I don't know how long ago for even what purpose I got them for, but <laughs> I've got them. And so all I do is I, while I'm doing this stuff, she writes one through 10 and she works on that. Now, if she gets one wrong, one of the things that they tell you to do is to play games. And so while I'm still making food or eating food myself, there's a bunch of different games. This I got from Gather Around Homeschool and it talks about just little spelling games that you can do with your kids. Um, the clay we do is from this book that they talk about using clay. And so I just, again, went to my dollar store and she uses the clay to build the words so she can see it. And then I'll crumple them up and go, okay, do it again and do it a few times. And because she's such a visual learner, but also very tactile, she's artistic, that sort of a child, um, doing that has really helped her remember her spelling words. Now we are, I don't know, test group A or no, yeah, level A group B eight right now. Um, but I have really found that it's been helpful. Um, and I don't know long term how much it will make a huge difference thus far because we've only been doing it for a few weeks now. But I really like the idea of spending this time helping her see the words more and more and more. Um, her memory isn't the greatest, so we're doing IEW and we're writing because clauses all the time and she still spells it wrong. So it's going to be a challenge, I think, for us to kind of figure out what works and the best flow for her. But I really felt like this was one thing that A, fit our schedule beautifully, but B, wasn't too juvenile and wasn't a saying a nursery rhyme over and over and over again. Um, her, like this, this was with Matt, uh, spelling you see, she would have to say it over and over and then follow it and clap it out. And it would just like, I felt like it was missing the boat for her so much of the time because so many other things were happening where this was really targeting the spelling aspect that we were working on. So I'm really happy that I've changed this. I've made the change. I don't have spelling you see to show you because I already sold it off. <laughs> I have so little room in my house that when I realize I'm not going to use something, I'm like, here, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> but I'm really excited about how well this fits into our, our schedule, how it seems to be something that's really targeting and focusing her attention on things. And then I can highlight certain things like the TR sound that I know that she struggles with. Um, and then I can say, oh, look, do you see that? That's a TR sound, so chur. And those types of things that she missed in grade one and grade two, she will now get now when we're practicing those words. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope that if you are finding yourself with a child struggling in that same area that you will take heart. There are things out there that might fit better, that might work, especially when you have an older child still struggling with things like spelling. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that it's been helpful. We will talk to you next time. Bye.